Coming up, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of all the lovely pre-shading you've done and create a weathered surface with some very nice panel lines and fading. But as usual, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel first. To start, I'm using Mr Hobby Aqueous Medium C Grey as my main base coat. And because I want that more worn and weathered look, I'm going to lighten it with a few drops of flat white. Then, I thin it down with Mr Colour Thinner and mix it through thoroughly. Again, you're going to look for that magic consistency of a runny milk-like mix that doesn't appear too transparent when you tap it on the side of the mixing pot, but it should flow nice and freely. Airbrush-wise, I'm using the trustier Water Eclipse. It's set to about 15 psi, give or take. The key to this step is patience and taking your time. So to start, apply a very light and almost misted on coat of the base colour. I tend to go at a distance of about 4 to 5 centimetres from the surface. At this stage, try and keep the coats as thin as possible, almost transparent. And at first you'll not see any paint build up, but again, please do be patient and don't rush. Then once you've applied your first layer, leave the paint to become touch dry. This should only take a few minutes if your coats are thin enough. If you notice any sheen, just leave it a little bit longer. Then it's just a case of repeating the steps a few times until you get the result you're looking for. Again, try not to rush the coats and you may find it'll take a good 4 or 5 coats just to get to where you want to be. What you're aiming for, well at least in my head, is a very subtle finish where the pre-shade is very faint and just shows off the darkened panel lines. Once you're happy with the finished base coat, it's time to really make the fading stand out. I'm using my Harder and Steamback Infinity this time, mainly because it's new, but also because of its ultra-fine nozzle, but you can just as easily use your normal airbrush. Now take the original base colour that you've been using and add a few drops of flat white to the mix, and then very lightly add a modelling effect to some of the random panels. I've dropped the pressure down to about 8 psi for this one and I'm spraying very gently at about 1 to 2 centimetres from the surface in a very tight and controlled but still random motion. Once you're happy, what you should be left with is a lovely weathered effect that looks as though the panels have been removed and swapped out over time and the paintwork has been patched and the vehicle, be it a plane or a tank, has seen some service in its life. You can repeat this process on pretty much any model you make and get some excellent results. Instead of white, add yellow or greys to greens to get different tones. The main thing is to remember to take it slowly and don't rush. And that is basically it. So I hope at least one person out there has learned something. And before I go, if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.